Alright, I wasn't thinking about coming here on Sunday. I normally do come just on Sundays because Saturdays I'm so busy with, with work and some garage sales, but for whatever reason, garage selling ended early on uh, Saturday. The sad thing is I did skip a, uh, a bonus community sale, but Sunday there was rain this morning, but now there's lingering uh, wind and the surf is three to five feet right on, right on the beach here. And uh, when I was coming over the bridge, it looks like there's an island forming just off about maybe five miles, five to six miles off of uh, off of Fort Myers Beach. The waves are smashing against each other. It almost looks like there's an island forming between Sanibel, not really between Sanibel and Fort Myers Beach, but it looks like there's an island where the uh, there there used to be um, some. Uh, Offshore reefs, and th th those reefs are getting mighty, uh, mighty. Uh, I wouldn't say shallow, but they're 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 rising up. Let's put it that way. But the surf is is uh, three to five feet right here off the beach. In fact, in some instances, it looks like I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing larger waves. So I have to come to the beach. So this is just going to be. I'm going to try to concentrate on the beach, but I have to go down because the wind is blowing from the west. So I have to go to Bunchy Beach to be able to go down the beach. The tide is high too, so the waves are really rolling onto the beach, scaring a lot of people off. So we're, as you can see, let's see we'll bend into the wind because uh, there's absolutely no way I could wrestle on the beach against the wind at high tide. I've got my ballistic glasses on. So, uh, so again, this is uh, April 30th, this day after the last video. So it was, uh, the sun just came out. I mean, it was, uh, it was an overcast. It was gorgeous though. It was cool. It's so cool. Uh, I said, I'd only come to the beach if uh, the clouds went away. And then all of a sudden, something hurt me. I saw the, on radar, that the, uh, that the, uh, the, the clouds were breaking. And I'm like, oh, I can go to the beach again. So there's not that many people here on the beach. I was able to get a really good parking spot at Lindlaw Park. And uh, this time, I'll bicycle all the way down to, to Bobwich Point to see if, you know, see for myself. I know. I'll tell you, there's a lot of uh, sand spray going on. I'm glad my I just want to bicycle on the beach to show you. These oh man, that sand spray got me good. I was going to sand fast. Wow. So this one is gusting to like 30, 40, 50 miles an hour.
couple awnings on Times Square where the old uh, Kilwins fudge was. The guy there who's serving ice cream, his awning got blown over. Uh, this fence got blown over. That's how strong the wind is. should have changed direction. So I don't know why the wind is so cold. renting out. There's cars here. So not all the buildings are open. Yeah, I see this little barricade down here. So the fence, the fence normally is closed. Well, so the fence exploring. That's why this area is closed, because there is no more dock. It's been wiped out. Wow. Alright, well it rained, but I don't think that's going to help. Oh, no. Wow. So, it looks like there's a new inlet here. I've never seen before over there. Look at the, look at the white caps. Man. This is gonna be a beach building activity, that's for sure. against waves as if it's, I mean, this is high tide, so it's pretty shallow, way out there, about five miles out. The lighthouse there, that's about five miles, so you draw a little arc, arc it over there, remember those those two channel markers are way out there, maybe a little bit farther, maybe an extra mile out. This 
is at least this is at least two feet higher in some spots. Standing on it. This is a nice sand dune actually. I, I have a rain gauge in my house. It was like it was like one inch and like two millimeters. It's pretty cool. Let me go as long as I can. Uh, word of the wise, though, don't run over sand spurs. Sand spurs are extremely sharp. They will puncture. They'll, <laughs> they'll probably even puncture Kevlar tires. <laughs> Be really careful riding over them. All right, looks like uh, again we're doing some exploring. We haven't ran into any spider webs, thank God. All right, so let's see what's going on over here. Obviously, this is a nice concrete path. I mean, nice concrete truck path where they can start dumping sand. if the water is here because of high tide or the water is here because this is a new inlet. Looks like this is a new inlet. A new bio.
dancing on the beach, there's no problem at all. At all. Especially with the tailwind pushing. Wow, look at all these little inlets and buyers. And this is definitely coming in. Hot dogs and big burgers. Shoot, we make a killing here. These people are hungry. See, that's the thing. If you don't want to stay on the beach, you can stay over here in this this uh, no trespassing lot over here. You can access it from the beach. There's no sign. You can just set up a little your campsite right there. Here's Margaritaville, and they're almost ready. I would say another month, two at the max, and they're ready to open. 
And I'm, I'm seeing evidence that the water got all the way up here. Now, it could be just heavy rain they got, but I'm seeing wave action. It could be heavy rain, because an inch, inch of rain down here, um, that, that could have caused this. Surf club. Again, I don't know. These people are just taking a sweet time fixing the roofs. They gotta, that's the first thing you gotta fix on a building. Nothing else. You gotta fix the roof before you can do anything else. Or else you're just wasting time and money. Okay, that is not smart. Is that? Hello. Hi. Sorry. Okay, that place, the only way to enter it is uh, there's some kind of entrance over here. This is the old. The old uh, beach whale. And, uh, I don't know. It looks like bankruptcy is going. I mean, why do you put a fence around it? Obviously, they want to build it, but and obviously they want to make money while they build it. But there's a big sand dune over here. That they dumped. It. And they tore down something and they dumped it right there. This tuna skin building. This is a good building too. They're renovating the upstairs. There used to be a, uh, a doorway to nowhere up there. They took that one down, which is sad. Making uh, wooden, wooden balconies. Temporary, I guess. Yeah, they used to have a whole bunch of uh, doorways to nowhere. They took them down, which is not good. They charge it for parking. 15 bucks? Yeah, they're not going to give you any slack on a day like this. This is a premium day for uh, for anybody wanting to uh, surf. Get your parking. $20 a day. All right. Now, over here, they usually charge about 10 bucks a day. Yeah, it's so windy you can't open an umbrella. Just, the umbrella would just be, within seconds, that'll be ripped away. This is Kia Stero Shopping Center. It says, uh, coming soon, liquor store. But they're gonna fix the roof first, or else nothing's gonna go. Hardware store, so. So we'll have to make a little explore. I'm not gonna go all the way down to. Uh, they just did that yesterday. Nothing else has changed. So instead, we'll have to make another little outing here. I'll see if I can go around the school. Let's see what's going on with that. Or the the, the Cero, whatever they want to call it. Try to make it more interesting. See, they're not knocking down. They knocked down this building over here. I pointed that issue. And that, that blue building on the left. I gotta inquire about that because I could make a real estate office out of it, and there is plenty of parking. Make real estate ice cream and bicycle rental, and then a, a restaurant on the second level. And, and with the uh, lack of restaurants thereof right now, and with the amount of parking that they got, oh wow! All right, oh, tree fell down. For a second there, I thought it was like a huge palm frond. I said, okay, I'll, I'll ride right over it. And I realized it's bigger than a palm frond. I, I, I feel like writing it up, but I see it's not my job. Strange, I think I pulled it down. Yeah. All right. That's the thing. Some of these people, you don't know how smart they are. You know, you have to caution on stupid. You have to. It's sad, but you have to. You know, not everybody is as smart as you. You have to. <laughs> you want to do a good deed, and some. 
I, I did a good deed for a friend the other day, and he like kind of like accused me of because he had broke something on my win. Like you're accusing me of, of, of you breaking it? What the heck? It doesn't make sense. You gotta be careful there. Let's see this real estate. Keep out, keep out. I see a white occupancy permit, so they paid somebody some good money to get that. And I'm still looking at the gulf there, and I'm still seeing three to five foot waves. It's pretty awesome. And this, I don't understand this Royal Scoop. I don't, I, they should sell me that business. I'd like to put a real estate office there, and ice cream, a bike rental. I'll buy the whole building if it's cheap. And this hotel here, again, I, I documented it yesterday. You need a, a GoFundMe proposal, get 100 investors, a million dollars each, and that will cover rebuilding that within nine months. Hello. So, the beach here is really wide, but it looks like there is a little inlet for me. These, these big truck grooves. There's these big dump trucks that dump in a lot of sand on the beach. Maybe, maybe they foresaw this storm coming and they dumped a lot of sand in anticipation of some high water. The sad thing is that chapel by the sea over there. The roof. The roof is done. And even the uh, county building next to it is done. A lot of open space over here. This, this uh, Keller Williams luxury. That's amazing. They did this all the same. You know what? It looks just as good. Simple. Simple is better. It won't be taxed as much. School. Oh yeah. Now there's the there's the the, the aqua slides. Hold on, I'm gonna make the left hand turn coming up. Should we left hand turn there? Hold on. So anyway, here's the government building. Let's go all the all the way to the end. Why not? So if you see an empty lot, that means a home is missing. That home there, it's a lot of work. The homes on the left, they look pretty decent. Like people are living in them and like nothing happened. Like that home there, the right, that's been abandoned since the storm. This home, you can see, I can see studs inside. So, a uh, camper, so there's elderly people are living here. You know, like I say, it's rainy season about to begin. So the, the storm that came through last night, we had two storms. One came through at 9.30 p.m., just before 9.30 actually. And then uh, another one started around 6.30 in the morning. And the one at 6.30 in the morning was actually more fierce than the one at 9.30 at night. A lot more light. This is a couple empty lots. And I see mangroves, so this is a cul-de-sac and I'm gonna have to go back. 
left there, the garage was destroyed. There was a missing house here, so something happened to that house. And uh, this house here on the left, you know, people had hope and they gave up. This one, I mean, it looks salvageable. It looks like from the way the windows look, it, it could have been a sealed house. Those are fair house for sale by owner. 1.75 million. Now, come on, let's get real. Let's get real. 1.75, and I see open studs on the inside. 1.75. Wow. They have to be insane. I, I mean, uh, with a perfectly nice house, well manicured, everything, I still think 175, they're grasping. But a house that was destroyed that's in dire shape. Wow. No. You gotta divide that by three. 1.75, that's 1 1.8 divided by three. 600,000 is more like it. You don't expect the new owner, with all these homes that are available for, to be bought, they don't have a special corner on the market anymore. Every single home in Fort Myers Beach is for sale. Fighting a, 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 a permits are going up, and uh, the, the, the interest rate on lending is going up. So, as a, as a property value, with all the properties here for sale, how you have huge amounts of supply, huge hurdles for buyers to buy into the market. So, you have huge supply up. You have demand because of the huge hurdles. The uh, the fire marshal, building permits, um, other new, new setback zones. So supplies up, demand is down. Guess what? Uh, your prices are going to fall, and they're going to keep on falling until this area gets completely rebuilt. So you're looking at a year, two years of deflationary prices in this area. I mean, again. Certain areas are worth more. I mean, obviously, if you're on the beach and your your house has uh, survived, it's still going to deflate a little bit because all the homes on the on the beach, their homes either survived or they they're, they're, they're still all, all for sale right now. So taxes are going up, but yeah, the regulations. So again, higher interest rates. Again, you have high supply, low demand. Uh, your prices are going to go down. We got load them in. Uh, let's try this right here. I like this beach shell in. It's, it's nice and cozy, but I can tell you right now that uh, they sustained uh, major uh, damage. So there was a lot of hope in. There was a lot of there was a lot of rebuilding activity associated with them. Probably because they got a free permit, good for nine months, maybe even a year. A lot of these uh, building permits are extendable. You just call them up and say, hey, I need to extend it, man. They'll, they'll do it for free. The ones that you got before December 31st. The ones you get now, uh, you got to pay through the nose. Okay, it says do not enter. All right, so. All right, so there used to be a baseball field here. <laughs> used to be a dock over here in the loitering. I, I drove down through here once before. Car. It was a it was a garage sale once. I think I drove through that parking lot. No loitering. Well, I'm not really loitering. I'm I'm, I'm gazing. All right. So we have a couple of jet ski things there. A little fishing pier here. Looks like there was during dry season a little dry season walkway, but the tide is high right now. So anywhere there. Um, no, it's kind of cool though. Okay. I have a little jet ski. Thing. All right, and uh, looking at the baseball diamond, that's ruined. But uh, you know what? A good two weeks of work you can make that diamond again. Oh, it says do not enter, but. There's, uh, that's for cars. This 
walkway is not guarded. So we're exploring. This is an explorer. So we're going to make it a quick explorer because, because undoubtedly there's a police car watching me. All right. The interesting thing is that on the towers up there, there's there's a crow's nest or, or a eagle's nest. So this is where they used to have all of the um, all the dirt and stuff. Yeah, there's nothing blocking you from getting in here. I'm looking at the street. There's nothing. There's it's open. So it's not a problem. So this is where people used to go. There's a field and hang out. There's a there's the tiki. There's some kind of a tiki hut there. There's a roof. And I guess I'm not sure what that is way back there, but that's part of a school or church or what? Probably part of a school. This is a school here. Obviously, it's still closed. And then that's the library over there. And then here's a church here too. So. Again, even that church would make a good, I mean, I, I need worker, I need worker accommodations. The church would make worker accommodations for the casino. That'd be excellent. I'm trying to think here what the school would be. Because I would have to buy that land too. I mean, I need a parking garage somewhere. Maybe I'd have to knock down the, the church and make a parking garage. All right, let's check out some of these other roads here. Let's see if this is a, this road leads anywhere. I've been down there, nothing's, nothing's straight ahead. Oh, it says no outlet. So there's no outlet on both sides. All right, well, we'll just drive down here quick. Someone has a tiki hut in the lawn. A tiki, not a tiki, a, 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 a totem pole. So the homes don't look too bad here. Here. I mean, if I was a contractor, I'd be visiting all these homes and asking them, you know, hey, if you're a general contractor, that's what you do. I see garage doors, I see roofs, I see painting, I see uh, woodworking, like new, new decking, new staircases. I mean, each, each home is a potential mint. So if you're a contractor or a contractor's license, like that house there, he's got a permit on his garage door. Which means that your property taxes are going up. That's all that permitting does. It's, it's, it's terrible. A permit for what? For you to do the work? Because you should have the right to do it under the Bill of Rights. I think the Ninth and Tenth Amendment are your own liberty. The state's trying to take that away from you. sue someone for billions and trillions of dollars. Send all these left with leftist packing. Alright, so it says postage keep out. Alright, so these things are gutted down to their concrete studs, concrete walls. And uh, it's like the glass and the doors were blown out. And the windows were blown out. It's the back of the thing. Two people, forget it. It's just too much work. You have to work non-stop, 24-7. I'll go a little further. I'll go down to... Uh, I think it was a good turnaround. I'm not, I'm not really... I mean... Uh, I don't want to go all the way down to Publix either. I don't want to try to come back on the beach a little bit. I'm just, I'm just 
pedal into that concrete, that would have sent me out into the, into, the, into the street. There used to be a nice little building here on the left hand side that was taken down. And it looks like people are starting to stack up the remaining cinder blocks to be salvaged. They're still, they're still getting a lot of this junk that's back there. This building here needs to be knocked down. There's a lot of open space. gonna sell this land they want something like 12 or some I don't even think it's 12 million I think they wanted like 20 million I'm never gonna sell it it's fresh catch those are new signs I don't the rocks covering the the entrance here's the old fire station on the left hand side see the the, the wood flew out I gotta fix that before some bums get in there and start living in there. Yeah, the waves are just phenomenal. I'm looking out to the, to the right. They're huge. The tide is really high though, that's the problem. The 7-Eleven still got the same, looks like Donald Trump Ford trucks parked here. Wait for him when making making a uh, Fort Myers visit visit the uh, devastation so they're gonna park the four trucks here a year in advance gates open too so they're taking the trucks for five for one again anywhere anywhere where there's open space there used to be a dwelling so there was one two three homes here are gone three strikes and you're out build out. Eucalyptus. I wish I got eucalyptus. Alright, I see a crushed fence. Nobody fixed that yet. The trees held it back. The strong trees. That house looks okay. That house, they fixed it up. It looks pretty good. This house, I can't believe it, but that house made it. This house did not make it on the left. No trespassing. I see no sign of recovery. Just the inside is still as damaged as it was. This, this house has got a white sticker on it, which is a good sign. You know, when, when you don't see a mailbox, it means nobody's living there. So, I, mean, I don't even see a mailbox at that house. Oh, I see the wrong. They're on the other one side of the road, I guess. No, no, evens are on even side, odds are on odd side. You know what? And as you get farther away from the beach, most of the homes survived because they didn't have wave action. They just had high water. I'm not saying that they didn't sustain damage, but they didn't sustain huge waves battering into their homes. Right. I think that was on this road. This road looks familiar. Again, an empty spot. Now, that was a house. Something was there. You have to go back on Google Earth Street View and uh, look back through the images. Let's go to the end. Remember the movie The, uh, the, the Langoliers? Well, there's a lot of wind blowing. It's rustling the palm fronds. That sounds a lot like that, the Langoliers. So that house is missing, so on the left hand side. That was a big lot. They're all big. I can see they're all big in this area, so that was one house. But there's a lot of pavers. I hate to throw that stuff out. It's ten dollars a brick. Ten dollars a brick and they got ten thousand bricks there. That's a hundred thousand dollars. And people need those pavers right now too. And they don't mind, they'll pressure wash them, they'll look like brand new. Looks like we're coming to these canals on both sides. So now here's a house being built. Amazing. Now the, the interesting thing is it's being built at the same grade level. That's not good, but that means that they had a rebuild permit. So they they got away clean. They didn't pay. They paid. It was free before December 31st. 
after December 31st, now you get perfectly great. So they have a waste sticker there so they can rebuild. And then they can occupy and rebuild. That's the key. And Fort Myers Beach Fire Marshal is not even part of Fort Myers Beach. It's part of like uh, some kind of Lee, Lee County Fire District. But he's acting in good. I don't even think the, uh, the fire marshal that administers Sandwell is that. interest rates means that they have to sell. So that just means that there's going to be a lot of property coming up on the market. For the homes that got destroyed, they want to sell as is. For the homes that got repaired, they, they paid, you know, for the last, now the prices are starting to come down in the hardware stores, but they paid exorbitant amounts for hardware between uh, September and now. And uh, they need to recoup their loss. They need to sell. Rent out, take the rent out, you know. I don't see renters coming back here in, in droves anytime soon because, for one, public's still not open, CBS is not open, and 7 Elevens are not open. Ooh, two Ubanas. They didn't jump in the canal, they just stopped at the, uh, at the edge of the canal. So the iguanas came over from Miami, someone, I guess, in a hurricane over there, their pets escaped, and uh, they bred like crazy, and now they're on this coast. Some people said that it could have been Hurricane Charlie, Wilma, or Irma that got loose, but now they're, they're a fixture here in Florida. So they're, they're not native to this area, but now they are. They're breeding out of control. You find them unsanitable, too, especially at Tween Waters Inn. Not, not between what I was saying. Oh, what am I saying? Um, at the uh, Thistle Lodge, there's a mud overflow parking. Oh yeah, this street goes down to the, to the mud thing. Oh, this is the this is the uh, the, the church. Yeah. All right. Well, it's interesting to know that they're working out here. Let's see if they have that that drink I like frozen. If not, I'll keep on going. I have I have a frozen water bottle in the car. I gotta put it under a blanket. It seems to work pretty good last time. See this house on the right hand side? This house right here. Ah, yeah. It's a good house. You know, it's right across from the church. The church would probably, the pastor would want to buy it and just live in it. But you know, it's not doing any it's not doing any justice by not fixing it. wind blew over their, uh, their tent, so it looks like they're closed. Oh gosh, the wind did blow over the tent. The wind ruined their tent. Oh man, how much more pain and misery do they have to go through? for clean water. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of reluctant to grab it.
not even, it's, uh, it's water. Sad that the tents got destroyed. Wow. I didn't realize it. See, at my house it was windy, but it wasn't really windy. But it must have been really bad down here. I have a couple tents. I may donate one. Yesterday I said I didn't see it, but I was looking down this road and mistakenly because it's the next road. It's still there. It's gonna come down though. I see a nice bobcat over there. Now let's see if we're gonna go any farther here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need all the time to get back on the beach because I'm gonna be fighting it. So, and this is where the beach is nice and thin. So I'll just take one more. I'll go down this Anchorage Road because I haven't done it down here enough. Let's see what's going on down here. I think I went down here once though. So again, that's the, uh, the uh, Titanic house. It's still up. It looks, looks like it's about to go on. Don't want to float, float that thing. That looks uh, worse than the uh, the, the, the uh, Gilligan's Island uh, Escape from Gilligan's Island raft that they made by, by tying all the See if I can make my two points coming up. Things on this block don't look too bad. I mean, there's looks like they've got a lot of roofing done. Oh, that's that's uh, that's not recycling. Darn it. They, they do whatever they please. Uh, 
supplies, so we're going to go to the beach and head back up north. So there on the left looks really nice. I just repainted that. They're still painted. All right. Well, I see a little walkway, so we're gonna try it. I might be able to bike. glasses on because the wind blows in right now. Look at these big waves. Three to five. I can easily see a three or four feet foot wave way out there. I mean, way right along shore here, it's one to three, but out of about 200 yards, those waves are at least five. is windy over here I, mean, I can I can actually pedal over here down the beach away okay. right, here's that they should allow driving on the beach maybe not the whole beach but they should allow some driving and that's this is a great entry point right now It's half as windy.
so. They need a liquor store here at the beach. They do. They need, they need a drive through like a uh, like McDonald's or a uh, Chick fil A. It's not very popular. Subway, they would, that would, that would be well, this, all the hotels are open, and they don't want to, they don't want to go to Walmart or go, you know, I think the Sunflower Cafe is open, there are some restaurants here on the beach, but they're, you know how it is, they're, they're, they're crowded, and they're overpriced at the moment, there's just not enough competition. like this Sunday where businesses are closed for no good reason. You, know, you, need, you need some more choices here. And there is Uber Eats and Gruber and some of these other places, but people like people like to order and have it delivered. And they want it delivered for a decent price, not not outright. I just see one bathroom. Gelato is, is closed. bank building there. I would have loved once to own that bank. Thank God I never pulled the trigger. I was close. But I was looking at prices not outrageous like they are now. I was looking at prices at least 40% lower. That would have been a 40% lower big mistake. Demolition, they're going to charge 50000 I don't know. They're going to want one point something million. Everyone is selling right now. Forget it. No one's going to buy that unless, unless another big resort like, like Margaritaville. Not that Margaritaville. It's not really a huge resort. It's actually smaller than, than uh, Diamond Head. If you look at the uh, capacity compared to Diamond Head, Diamond Head is actually bigger. They need places that are like two times Diamond Head and buy up this stuff. Like they like they were doing in Daytona Beach back in the late 80s.
Estero, this provided a good wave break. So some of the wooden structures that were behind me survived because this big building took a lot of the force of the wave action. Cloud over us. I hope this doesn't rain. It doesn't look like it. It's a passing cloud. So yeah, I see all this uh, two-inch foam board. This is insulation, obviously. You're insulating the walls or ceilings. Seacourse Beach House. It's pretty awesome. But again, this place here on the right-hand side, the Seashell Motel. Just they gotta put a little bit more effort in. I, I know you know hopium and stuff like that. The pools drain. Uh, all the electrical needs to be certified. Yeah, you're looking at two hundred thousand more dollars. But if they don't they don't finish this thing off, yeah, someone threw out of my window. Personally, we finish that stuff off. Get it, get it rented. People want to. People are looking for places to stay here. State was just going through the roof on this beach. It was a build out. People were buying everything, every single nook and cranny they were buying up. Similar to Sanibel. Sanibel is still, still freaky because a lot of those buildings survived. And people, you know, if the hotels, the condos are not open, if, pe if the restaurants are not there, people are not going to spend that much. They're if the restaurants are not open, they're going to buy from Walmart. Buying from Walmart, they learn that they can cook. They don't 
you had every day, they could save money. And once those habits stick, you know, then it's changed for good. It's the same thing with going out and seeing sports. You don't want to see woke sports, so you don't go out and see football, you don't see baseball. You're, you're, you're you know, initially, great. You know, initially you don't intend to give up on the sport. You're just trying to make a statement. You're trying to say, hey, I don't approve of wokeness. I'm not going to drink your Bud Light. I'm not going to, you know, you do more research. You find out Bud Light's owned by Anheuser. You say, okay, I won't buy any Anheuser as well. You know, you don't tend to do that for long. But what happens is that you buy Yuling and Coors or... Uh, some of those other good imports like uh, Gallo and, uh, and uh, some of those other ones. And you're like, you know what? This stuff is better. You know, sometimes like fueling is less expensive, or sometimes Gallo or uh, some of these other beers are more expensive. And you, you get addicted to drinking pours, you know, you're like, no. I am a Yulin guy, though. I do like it. Yulin uh, bought in 1987. It's either 86 or 87. It could have been this 86. They bought the, uh, the old Cops Brewery in Tampa. I wanted to buy that. And they, it was $5 million and assumed the debt. I was going to offer them $3 million. I was going to get 1,000 investors. Dollars each. We have, uh, two more, two more thousand dollars a month to get the up and running. So what did they do? They sold the yielding for one million dollars. What the heck? My offer was bigger. Stupid. Man. I mean, yielding had the money to turn around. So I would have been making whatever, whatever I could stick in a bottle and bottle it. thought beer would sell better if it was in a bigger container. People don't want 12 ounces, they want 24 ounces. Uh, I get it. People want 24 ounce beer, they don't want 12 ounce beer. I mean, come on, 12 ounces, that barely what's the appetite. 24 ounces, like a big gulp. Nice. That's gonna be a wave pool. It's gonna be an awesome wave pool though. They're still not done. They have another they have another foot, maybe not even a foot of concrete. I guess they're gonna cut that stuff down. That PVC down. Right now it's capped, I guess. Yeah, it's just capped. It's cool though how they're making that pool. We got some gazebos here. Beach bars they're gonna have next to this big pool. It's gonna be really awesome. This uh, park right above.
step back. The rooms are 27 feet up. The, uh, the dining and the Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next weekend.